video will explain a little about the program interface and the different modes you operate in. A principal concept of our 3D Home Designer software is operating in two different modes, 2D construction mode and 3D furnishing mode. When you start a new project you automatically start in construction mode, which is this mode here. In construction mode you always operate in a 2D plan view. Here you enter all structural elements for your building. These include, for example, walls, windows, doors, roofs and chimneys. With a click of a button you enter into 3D furnishing mode. Here you place your furnishing objects. These can also be inserted in 2D mode and also change the appearance of your 3D model, for example choosing a wall or floor finish from the large selection of mater materials available in the library. When you have all your floor plans drawn up, there is an additional mode for laying out your floor plans together with elevations and section views. This is called plan mode and can be accessed by clicking the icon at the top next to the 3D furnishing icon. The plan mode provides even greater control of your layouts, enabling you to produce single sheets containing multiple views and floor plans. This is ideal for producing planning applications. While using our 3D Home Designer software, you'll find many things in common with other Windows programs. For example, how to select a menu option from a menu, how to open and minimize windows, and how to launch and exit a program. As with other Windows programs, our 3D Home Designer software consists of a menu bar at the top of the screen. for convenient access to various operations within the program. Besides the menu bar, there are vertical and horizontal toolbars. In the horizontal bar that appears at the top, under the classic menu bar, you'll find icons which are used throughout the whole project. The horizontal bar comprises of an arrangement of general functions, for example, opening a file, saving a file, Printing, exporting your project to an image file, zoom and toggle between 2D, 3D and plan mode. Tabs for accessing component properties also become visible on selection of con construction elements. Besides of the horizontal bar, there are vertical bars. In construction mode, the left vertical bar lets you select components, construction elements and their input and editing options. Both the upper horizontal and the left vertical bars are always displayed in both 3D furnishing mode and 2D construction mode. However, the icons in them change or become inactive depending on the mode. Hovering your mouse cursor over a particular function in a bar, a flight menu of recent used tools will appear for selection. In construction mode, there is also a second vertical bar that appears when selecting certain, certain tools. Where the main left-hand vertical bar lets you select what to input, a second smaller bar also appears that lets you decide how to input the desired element. For example, selecting a window element will display a set of icons in a bar for positioning, e.g. freely, midway or at a set distance in a wall. To the right of the screen you'll find the catalogue panel. This catalogue display will vary depending on what mode you are in and what function you are currently using. By left clicking, clicking a tool from the set of icons at the left hand side of the screen, a list of icons and folders will appear in the catalogue. Here you can left click these for accessing and, and selecting individual tools to use in your project. Depending on the tool selected, a second bar also displays in the catalogue, letting you decide how to input the desired elements. You can also resize the catalogue window to free up space if required. And also change the icon display.
The right vertical bar contains catalogues for the current function. If no function has been selected, then the tools catalogue will be displayed. The horizontal bar at the bottom of the screen is the status bar which includes all available functions for quick access. The status bar also displays element specific tooltips on selection of some tools, for example placing multiple walls. You can also switch different displays on off through the display menu at the top. The display menu allows you to decide what parts of the screen you want visible. This is particularly useful for freeing up some space on the drawing sheet as and when you need to. For example, when drawing in 2D construction mode, you might not have a useful numeric input, so therefore you want to temp temporarily disable it.